And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Farron Burn. Playing some Captain Farron Burn. This is really actually more of a mid-range deck, but like we're using Captain Farron's Decimates to burn out the opponent. Like that's going to be a uh, main way that we finish games. But you know, we got we got Noxus and PNZ here, but not going all in on the aggro. Um, you know, play, trying to play a bigger mid-range game where we got Draven and Vi. Um, you know, in here with Vi just being a great card. Um, good amount of removal, good amount of interaction. And uh, we have like one Sumpworks map for the for Vi. That if we have a large Vi, we can turn it into being elusive or, you know, anything else. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's, that's our deck. Let's see how Captain Farron does in this kind of mid rangey Bernie kind of deck. Okay, the dogs are back in here. They're happy. I, there was work, yard workers for my neighbor were um, basically right outside, uh, you know, parked in front of my house and stuff, and so they're right outside, and so the dogs were barking a whole lot right before the stream. So before that last deck, I just uh, closed them in my room for a little bit, and now they're they're gone. So the dogs are back out here, and they're happy. Because otherwise the dogs were just barking the whole time and I wouldn't have been able to record. So this seems like the Ash Sejuani deck, but there's no Ash. It's just Sejuani. So that'll be interesting. We'll just keep this hand. We had two drop, three drop, four drop. Perfectly fine. We'll save the one spell mana for later. I like Chump Lump a lot. I think Chump Lump's a really underrated card, just in general. Just Even if we just give our opponent these Mushroom Clouds, which is what we'll be doing most of the time, we can use the Mushroom Clouds to discard for Spinning Axes or for Get Excited. But I think a lot of the time we're just going to be giving our opponent a bunch of Puff Caps and having that add on to our Burn Deck. Oh, this is something we played earlier in the week? Cool. There's Captain Farron. This is a good hand for our deck. We got cards we want. Skip the block. I'm just kind of scared of, like, if I play Chump Womp, I'm scared of Enraged Yeti. I'm scared of them drawing Enraged Yeti. And then I play 4-3, they play a 5-5, five five, and then, like, how do I really attack with that 5-5 five five sitting there? Nine cards in hand right now. Oh, that's a right there. Give him that. The one extra mana doesn't really help Vi. My plan being to play Vi this turn. They should have Enraged Yeti by now. I would think. Yep, so they grabbed it off the shared spoils. It's pretty nice making it a 6-6. Six, six. Um, let's see. So we're at 6 right now. I could probably make this 10. Right, so we go 7, 8, 9, Spinning Axe, 10. I mean, Spinning Axe just kind of does it on its own. So 
if we want to level up by killing the City Breaker. I don't think I will level up by... I think we'll just attack here because of Frostbite. I don't think I want to, like, spend a lot of resources to level up to get Vi to be 10, and then they Frostbite Vi. For the Empire. All right, we play this. We have three, six, eight. Okay, so yeah, we can't drop two. Oh, dang. Because unfortunately, they did that right before I gave them these two puff caps. I wish I would have gave them the, that other puff cap first. But that's still a lot of... Still a good amount of puff caps. Um, and less cards in their deck. And you know, like these puff caps just add up with the burn spells and add up with our decimates. That's how we're going to be winning this. We'll see what we're gonna do with these burn spells. Right now we have seven mana, so that's enough for shot, shot, get excited. Uh... I need to. Let's pass. Let's see what happens. May need to get excited and fervor and just kill Sejuani. Seven damage to them this turn. Excuse you. Ugh. Let's get to the fun part. block the 5-2 because the 5-2 can die to the mystic shot. It's just a little awkward that um, now I wish I would have saved one spell mana, you know, to be able to mystic shot that as well. Sejuani's just really good. <laughs> Sejuani makes this all pretty awkward. That hurts. That really hurts. One mana counter. Um, counter my six mana of spells. They walked around. Look what you Only the strong survive. Down. 
Ouch. The fruits of conquest. Obviously, I can't. I can't really handle more burn spells from them. Not burn spells. Sorry, like pump spells. Like if they have like Fury of the North kind of thing. Oh wait, that was just really dumb because it's about to get frostbitten. It's not like those, those cards wouldn't really help anyway. Alright, well. That's... That's game. That elixir of iron, man. Elixir of iron. The safer play than... You know, like, I went for killing the Sejuani. The safer play would have been to just Mystic Shot both 5-2s. Um, and now I wish I would have done that, and they Elixir of Ironed one of them, and then I would have a 3 damage burn spell to kill it after Elixir of Iron. And just let them have Sejuani and kill everything else. That would have been the safer play by me. Instead of going for a Sejuani kill. All right, playing versus the deep deck. I'm not sure if I want to keep this Sunworks map or not. I don't know. Like there's there'll be games like that Sunpark's map would be absolutely amazing. There'd be a, you know like especially like, so I'm thinking like I grab Draven, I play Draven on three, I could like Sunpark's map the Draven after that. Um and that could be great, but then they could just have like Grasp the Undying and kill Draven and then I just uh, my Sunpark's map didn't really do anything. So it's hard to say. Why would they possibly wait and not be playing that? I guess because it didn't block these anyway? So what's the point of waiting? With that card. Well, now they don't have the 1-1 one -one to just block the Draven, so that's nice. Why is that, Tizzle? But people playing Ash, Sejuani, and Masters just makes me laugh. Why? Why? I mean, it's the best deck. I don't understand. Like, where... Where would you expect it to be played? Like, in normal? Against the AI? Like, I don't, I don't understand that statement. Let me show you what I can do. So I want to get Crimson Disciple in here in case, you know, like they are planning on like Withering Wailing.
I cannot be broken. You defile the grove. They know about the spinning axe. Okay, down to seven. Protect our grove. Oh, life steal thing hurts. If they don't break, they'll burn. Make the Empire proud. Noction guillotine my own Crimson Disciple to keep them from gaining life. But I don't think that's worth it. Twenty cards left. When do I want to give him these mushrooms? The earlier, usually, the earlier you give them mushrooms, the better, because then it's just more draws. You know, it's more times that they're drawing their card. But when you pair, when you kind of do the math with obliterating, you kind of want to wait for more things to be obliterated before you play, before you give them the mushrooms. That makes the call more difficult. It's like, you know, they have 20 cards right now, we give them 10 puff caps. They draw more cards, but they're going to be obliterating some. Or wait till they have, you know, like 15 cards, and you give them 10 puff caps, better chance, but then they have less draw steps. So less, less opportunities to draw them. Can do it. See? Give him more opportunities to draw him. Hey, Slippery. Um. Not tossing puff caps. We want to see nine puff caps still. Wow, still nine puff caps. They tossed none. That's pretty great. Ah, uh, they just tossed two, so now they have seven, and they put more cards back into the deck. It's Draven time.
Draw four puff caps. Okay, one puff cap, we'll take it. Draw another one. Ah. Draw another one. So we do know every sea monster they want to play is free now. Really wish I could play this other mushroom cloud, but I probably won't be able to. If I want to, you know, I probably want to double guillotine. They just only get those two seven sevens. Uh, darn, that's burst speed. I can't respond. That's the card I was hoping they didn't have. Probably not going to need two guillotines now. So I'm not just firing off Guillotine right now, because if they have Atrocity, they can kill me with Atrocity, like, next turn. So I, I want to save Guillotine to be able to respond to Atrocity at this point. I want to draw two Puff Caps. Ah, uh, just one. Oh my gosh, why are they playing that? That just killed them. Like, they're definitely drawing a puff cap. What are they doing? They can't, I have nothing here. They're supposed to just go to their next turn and just try to, try to just not draw one puff cap, which they would have missed. Puff caps are great. So underrated. So underrated in burn decks just having some puff caps. <laughs> deep players only know to go deeper. <laughs> the first card they drew didn't have a puff cap also, so like they might have won that. Like I could have, I had 12 mana, I could have killed all four of their sea monsters that were in play with the Noxian Guillotine if I didn't pass priority, but then that would have opened me up to Atrocity, and I thought it was just a better play to hold on to it and just rely on them drawing a puff cap, what looked like they would have missed, and I would have lost if they didn't cast that card. No, no, because remember, salvage gets rid of the two from the bottom with the toss two. So it was, it was the first card still. It's still the card on top. 
question that they drew first with the uh, salvage. All right, we're playing against Gangplank Burn. I will keep. Looks good. It's nice to have Vi in the opening hand, so the power gets pumped up. We'll have Draven's biggest fan bring Draven to the party. Lucky you. I'm the last thing you'll see. I'll be quick. Yeah, salvage is toss two, draw two, but toss gets rid of cards from the bottom. So it tosses two from the bottom, and then you draw the two from the top. So it's still like, you know, it's still, that was their top card, was the first card they drew. I'll try anyone. Let's get a good look at you. Look what you did. A worthy end. Look what you get. A worthy end. Croak if you were burn if you don't. Sure. I don't really know why this 3-2 is attacking, but I love it. I love this trade. Just go with the, the two two mana cards here over the chump wump. May mystic Let's shots. Do this. You know, like cutthroat, maybe. Yeah, I think you're right. I think I think they thought that crack shot corsair was misfortune. I think that's what they were thinking. For the Empire. Um All right. Uh, if I kill it, that slows down Gangplank. What are you waiting for? Or I just let this happen and I kill the Prowling Cutthroat. For the glory of Noxus. So I'll let it happen and kill the Cutthroat. But the thing about Cutthroat is Cutthroat's a really easy card to kill with a Vi. So like that's like the in that's the incentive to use the mystic shot there to save the life. Okay, well we're going to have to we're gonna have to use Vi to kill that thing. Got me. Vi stands for vicious. I don't know, is it better to play my cards out? I kind of feel like it is. Because, like, if they're playing... If I just do this attack, they could play, like, another swift, Slippery Wave Rider. I want to put more pressure on them. Make it more difficult for them to to play another just slippery wave rider and then and not block because I'm putting a lot more pressure no out here. No well, by pressure, you know what I mean damage. Justice first hand, freeze. Let's do this. I know what I'm doing. Your path ends here. 
Yeah, so while we could level up Draven, I'm, I'm going to be trying to kill Misfortune with the Spinning Axe. Um... This game's a lot more about speed than than uh, sitting back. So this this game, the puff caps aren't going to be as va valuable. So we can use spinning axes. Um, but yeah, do I just use this other one and just get one point of damage in? Let's see, that would put them down to six. Next turn, seven, eight. I know that I'm not I'm not going towards leveling up Draven, I know. It's so hard to level up Draven. I'm gonna do an extra point I'm gonna get the extra point of damage in on them. I'm putting it on the Grenadier because if they would for some reason have a removal spell, um, you know, like a Noxion Fervor, I guess, or something. Um, I'd rather I don't want them to kill Draven. You know, I don't want to put it on Draven and then they they take the thing that was gonna die and just fervor and kill Draven. I'd I i want to split that up, like I'd rather them be killing the Grenadier. See what happens. Not gonna give them the opportunity to play another decimate. Okay, GG's. Mine stands for victory. Two and one with that victory. With our Farron mid rangey burn deck. Yeah, so Vi can, Vi can get her level up effect any time that uh, she strikes with 10 power, but then the ability only for the doing the 5 damage only happens while attacking. But you can use like a single combat, for example, to level up Vi, and if Vi has 10 power. Mystic Shot's going. I do like Transfusion, but I think we kind of need more units. I don't really like this Demolitionist kind of really either. So we're just going to mulligan the Transfusion, even though, like, this is a, this is just a, this is a deck that's great against small unit decks and just filled with removal. Like, this is going to be a tough matchup. This is like an anti, this is a complete anti-aggro deck. Um, so this is one where, like, Captain Farron will be necessary. I do really like Culling Strike because of Thresh. If if they have Thresh, this is just the best answer to Thresh by a long ways, especially in our deck. My turn. Be nothing left when I'm done. <laughs> I know, right? What is it, Vi? What what does Vi actually stand for? It says vicious and violence and victory. Well, which is it? It's Draven time.
Hmm. You hoping they'll die of boredom? No. Delish. Like static shock on these two would be nice, and then but you know they'll respond with like some kind of damage based thing. I kind of expecting them to do some kind of damage based thing, and then I'll go static shock, and we'll do one to the powder keg to keep our things a little bit higher. Then we'll do one to the monkey idol, so they get one less powder monkey. Stumble Dog, we just just played a deck with Thresh. The last game, that last deck, the Dreadway combo deck, is a Thresh deck. Come here, darling. Interested in Thresh decks? Then we go some. The Sump Dredger and Crimson Disciple this turn. Yeah. You'll fight or you'll swim. Yeah, I definitely build decks for fun. Absolutely. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, Demacy and Vi with Judgment. Yes, I have tried. I have played that. Um, we got a pretty good, pretty good list with that. Been a while since I played that. I guess I was middle of June. Here, take a look at that one. It's basically exactly what, what you're talking about there. It has, you know, Fiora, Vi, Judgment. Some good stuff there. All hands on deck. I love a taste of the action. Delicious. Here's the fun part. Trouble coming at ya. Hoping they didn't have that. Well, we're gonna level up our Vi. So that's what their deck's about. You know, Withering Whale with Powder Kegs is super powerful. Um, that's how we do it. So their deck is real great against against aggro decks. Against small units with Powder Kegs with Make It Rains and and uh, Withering Whales. Vile fees they've success get you noticed around here. Showing some good stuff over there. Coming in hot. I'll blow up the pieces. Death doesn't scare me. But we have two Captain Farons, and so I'm still very confident in this game with these Captain Farons. Captain Farron should do a great job finishing this out. Still saving Culling Strike for Thresh, even though you know, like we could have saved some life on on Vi. Wanted to save it for 
Thresh instead. Um, I should probably be a little worried of Ruination. I guess. They can easily just have, like, Glimpse Beyond or something like that, though. Um, Alright, so let's say I go Captain Farron and they cast Ruination. I still have these four cards. They have three cards. I still have these four cards plus three decimates. Ugh. Let's get to the fun. My life's not too bad, e even if they do have ruination. And if they don't have ruination, we're looking really good. Yeah, Hungarian Crab, I, I'm not too big on Ezreal Twisted Fate, to be honest. I, I'm a little lower on that deck. I don't think that deck is anything special. I think it... it uh, um, I don't know, I think it struggles a little too much with any kind of larger units. So yeah, that was their plan, was the Glimpse Beyond. So I'm glad I didn't just go straight to attacks. Glad we played this Captain Farron first. I could have kept them from drawing two cards by using the Get Excited, but I'll just wait. Um, I don't really want to... I don't really want to discard any of these things to get excited. I guess I play Culling Strike now. Alright. Well, feel bad for using that Culling Strike. I just shouldn't have even played it because they could just challenge with the Dreadweight deck hand anyway. <laughs> oh, they were just waiting. Alright. Well, how many kind how many times can we decimate our opponent? Feeling decimated. Get him, Captain. Get him, Captain. Captain Farron was the most important card for us to draw in that matchup. And we drew both. So that's pretty great. <laughs> Said six decimates in hand. That's crazy. Alright, we're three and one with Farron Burn. <clears throat> Yeah, because if we don't draw Captain Farron in that matchup, it's going to be pretty tough, honestly, getting 20 damage across before we die. But Captain Farron makes that much easier. All right. And we got some scouts. <clears throat> Got a sleeve mirror match. Um, I'm keeping this hand. Good hand. I like Static Shock in this matchup with, especially against Quinn, how they get um, Valor. And so they'll have Valor. They'll have Fleet Feather Tracker. Stuff like that. Grizzled Badger Bear. They have some good targets for Static Shock. It's Draven time. The party has Sorry. I didn't call it. I've got your back. 
Ugh. Do I still attack with Draven? That says probably no. No closer. Okay. That's not bad. Draven traded for with two spells and got us two spinning axes. We'll take that. four after this. I don't really want to Culling Strike a 3-4 because I want to save Culling Strike for um, for Quinn. As you saw there, that was a pretty good, pretty good Static Shock. I think that's a good card in this matchup. Pulling strike target. Like that draw, that's good. No. We will defend them to the end. Uh, no more calling strike. I'm gonna go transfusion save save Vi. How much damage do I want to take from this Quinn? I think we can take. Fine. The thing is, is if I block with Precious Pet, they're probably just not attacking again with Quinn. So I guess Precious this would save eight life to block with Precious Pet. So is it worth saving eight life? Because they're not going to attack again with that Quinn, I don't think. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna calling strike this Quinn. But yeah, I guess I guess you're right. I could save a oh, whoops wrong card. I could save save Vi if I would calling strike the Valor and then These woods belong to keep Vi up. No, I guess no. We still couldn't we couldn't save. But yeah, so that that's what I mean. They're they're not going to attack with point again. So I saved eight life by blocking with the two one. Oh, wow. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Likely another coin in hand. Slow down, will you? For the Empire. 
I would like to play the Stump Dredger, but unfortunately, we can't. <laughs> I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. I'm not discarding either of these cards. All right, so we're gonna play that. So now option is Captain Farron, pretty good. Get three decimates, not bad. Or Chump Lump, and then discard um, a Mushroom Cloud and play the Dredger. Yeah, it's definitely a good good trade getting that Culling Strike on the Misfortune. Tumble Dog says Farron, Nenuel says Farron. All right, we are fair and burn. Because they're at five life. If Legion Grenadier dies, that's four. And it looks like we can do four damage. All right, opponent agreed. They said it looks like we can do four damage. Okay, there we go. Four and one with Captain Farron Burn. You can see we're not really like a an all-out burn deck. We play pretty mid-rangey. Um, the Mushroom Clouds were, were quite good. Um, Static Shock was good. Culling Strike was good. Um, the Sump Dredger was kind of nice. Like we got to discard a Spinning Axe with the, the Sump Dredger one time. That was pretty nice. Um, but yeah, the Draven's biggest fan was it was definitely a good card of finding us Draven more often. That worked out. Pretty good little deck here. I, um, like, Vi, Vi is a good card. Swain and Leviathan are so powerful together that it may be better just to be playing Swain instead of Vi and then also playing Leviathan. But honestly, the Vi was, was really good for us with the tough. And, you know, being a removal spell, my opponent had to use a lot of, like, that's the thing is, like, your opponent uses a lot of resources to take out Vi. And while they're using those resources to take out Vi, that just kind of slows the game down, allows you allows you have more time to acquire your burn spells, allow your Captain Farron to take over, um, you know, allow them to draw more puff caps and everything like that. So like the Vi just does a lot. Um, also, it just helps your combat out, helps you know everything else attack because you know your Vi gets a challenge, their best blocker and everything too. Um, yeah, you push the Farron button, your opponent pushes the surrender button, pretty much. Pretty much. So yeah, Captain Farron was was great. That did close out those last couple of games for us. Um, and there we go. No, Vi used to be a 2-5. Vi was a 2-5 before, and they nerfed Vi to be a 2-4 instead. At 2-5, it was just so hard to kill Vi. Vi was dominant, and, and basically every top deck would just splash Vi because it was just the best thing to be doing on turn five by a long ways. All right, so that's Fair and Burn. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and uh, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck, playing some Captain Fair and Burn over here. I'd appreciate that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.